And what's in your pocket, guys? It's your Average Gear Reviewer here, back again with another one for you. Guys, you know, it's Friday, and uh, you know what that means? We've been wearing all this gear all week long. It's time for the TGIF Pocket Dump. The best gear is the gear you have on you. You know, if you've watched the videos before, this is our series where I will go through everything that I've been carrying for this week, show you how I've been carrying it on body, and then we'll go, usually go over to the bench, and I'll just kind of walk you through what I've been carrying and why I've been carrying it. This week, not a whole lot of things have changed, but I do have a couple of just little updates. And I want to kind of talk about a couple of how a couple of things are working out for me. You know, how is your gear working out for you guys? In the comments down below, let me know how your EDC is going. Have you settled into a permanent EDC? Do you carry the same thing all the time? Or are you kind of switching things out? Are you trying to find a particular item for your EDC? This would be a great place to... Uh, if you're looking for a particular knife or flashlight, multi-tool, put it in the comments down below. I'm sure that, uh, you know, either I or somebody else can help you find one. Anyway, guys, make sure that you're following us on Instagram over at Average Gear Review, all lowercase. And go over there and post your pocket dump with the hashtag TGIF pocket dump. And uh, hopefully we'll see you in a future video. All right, guys, let's get over to the bench and get into it. Oops. Okay, so we're over here at the bench, and what I'm going to do really quick is I'll just show you uh, where I'm carrying everything on body, and we'll put it on the bench here, and then we'll just go through it uh, thing by thing. I think if you watched any of my, uh, you know, any of my pocket dump videos, you already know how it goes basically. But we'll go uh, from the left side of the body all the way around to the right, and of course, on the top left pocket, I have my big crystal pin, and that is for Mr. Ed Calderon there. And if you guys don't remember, I was talking about the uh, pocket dump that he did uh, on the Sean Ryan show. It was one of the best pocket dumps I've ever seen. Got the Lighter Bro Pro, of course, in the pocket there. And since I have the Wranglers on, it allows me to carry everything in different places. So, um, and I'll, I'll, put, I'll try to put a link for these Wranglers as well. I think you can just get them at Walmart uh, or you can get them at Walmart.com. There are uh, particular ones that have... Uh, they have smaller pockets on one side, and I really like it. It allows you to compartmentalize your stuff. Like a lot of times, I'll put my lighter in here. Um, down here, I do have the SFG Power Leader. If you guys know, I, I always uh, tend to have one of those on me. And uh, for my EDC light right now, I am rocking the Warrior Mini 3. Really liking that one. I'll talk a little bit more about that one in a second. Of course, if you know, you know. I've always got the iMini 2 around my neck always have the tick watch pro of course around my wrist going around to the back here we got the good old mirrored in tactical wallet <laughs> of course as always right now i'm edc in the demco ad 20.5 tanto this was a special version that they did at uh, Blade HQ, I believe. And uh, yeah, really, really, really cool knife. I love this one. I'll have a review coming up on that one pretty soon. Um, I've had it for a while and I've actually gotten to carry it a lot. So I just, yeah, I've just had a few other reviews. I've been trying to get out before that one. Of course, I am carrying the uh, tactical front pocket, the TFP-01 by the one and only Knife-Eye King. Shout out to Knife Eye King. What's up, Will? <laughs> uh, I am still wearing the Vism, or the Vismix. Sorry, I keep screwing that up. The Vismix tactical belt. Uh, if you guys have seen that video, I'll try to put a link up here, uh, maybe right about here. If you want to watch that video, it tells about it. It's a tactical belt system. It's a sort of a three belt system that allows you to uh, put a gun belt on top of just like your normal EDC, like everyday wear belt really cool system that you should check out. Uh, I am carrying as my firearm retention knife. I'm carrying the SOCP sort of dagger on the left hand side of the belt. On the right hand side, I am carrying the Taurus G3C. It is safe and unloaded as always, guys, I promise you, um, with the Balder RL from Alight. Great little combination there. And I do carry in the Gun and Flower Kydex holster. 
keeps everything nice and secure. I don't know if you guys heard my story where I fell down the stairs with the holster on and it never moved, like never moved an inch. And then I am wearing my Rhino Tactical Tourniquet. That's going right around the waist thanks to the awesome Vismix Tactical Belt System allows me to wear my tourniquet around my waist and always have it on me. So yeah. You guys be sure that you are carrying your tourniquets. And that you know how to use one. It's one of those pieces of equipment that I just can't say enough because it could absolutely save yours or someone else's life. Uh, yeah. And then, of course, you know, ending up with the Vismix tactical belt system here. And uh, I love the way that it has the loop on the outside. It allows me to fasten the tourniquet to it. And it also does allow for the attachment, the quick attachment of your gun belt. So you could be wearing this around in your jeans or cargo pants or whatever underneath the belt buckles. And then that gun belt just goes over the top of the belt, the uh, buckles and every or, uh, belt loops, sorry, in your pants uh, over the top of the belt and over the top of the belt loops. And uh, yeah, very, it really, really secures the belt in place. And that's another thing I like about wearing the, uh, the tourniquet with it is it really, really helps you keep that really locks that belt down. So I'm going to switch over to the overhead view guys and I'll show you, let me make sure I didn't forget anything. Um, again, uh, I've got the Wrangler. It's just a Wrangler cargo pants, I think is what they're called. I'll try to look them up for you guys and, and give you a little better, um, better idea of what these actually are because I, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I just know there's some Wrangler cargo type pants that I got at Walmart a long time ago and I love them. They're super comfortable. Oh, and I almost forgot to take out the old O-Hank here. I got the O-Hank on this side. So there you go. All right, guys, let's switch over to that top-down view and uh, take a look at what we got here. So back to the good old top-down view here. And what I'm going to do, just really quick, I wanted to show you everything that I'm carrying. And I know that it looks like a lot, but really, it does fit in the pockets well. Um, you know, guys, a lot of times with your EDC, it's going to be what you make of it it's good it just takes a lot of time carrying everything and seeing what really works for you you know that's why i try to do these videos as a way of show, kind of just giving you guys an idea of you know some possibilities of how you can carry things and, and where you can carry things to show you where i'm carrying and i'm constantly researching trying to find new ideas to expand my carry so, you know, that's kind of why I like to share these videos with you. And, you know, I forgot to say it in the beginning, guys. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. It's a little late, I know now. But if you like the video so far, make sure and leave a like down below. If you're not subscribed, I don't want you to miss out. So make sure and subscribe right now. Um, this week, I am carrying the Warrior Mini 3 Lite. I, I know a lot of you guys know that recently I had been carrying the Seeker 4 Mini. I like the fact that it has the optional... UV light, uh, but I don't find myself using it that much. So I have swapped it out right now and I'm carrying the Warrior Mini 3. And what I like about the Mini 3 is you can activate it. Well, hold on, let me turn it on here. Okay, so you can activate it with the tail cap. It has a low mode and a high mode, which is the turbo mode for bright. But you can also activate it by using the button. And right now you can barely see that because that's the moonlight mode. But it has a low, medium, high, and double press is a turbo. And three clicks will give you the old, uh, <laughs> sorry about that, strobe effect. I forgot that's what it does. But I like the option that it gives you a few different... You know, a few different options as far as your EDC light goes is something, uh, you know, not quite as bright. But the uh, when you're using the tail cap on this, it is a very, very bright thrower. I like that a lot. And, uh, you know, carry that in the offhand. Um, just get your pistol in the right hand. I am a big believer in having the weapon mounted light. Uh, mine does have the light and the laser. I just like having those options on my firearm. They don't take up a lot more space and it's getting easier and easier to find holsters that'll fit. Uh, a good example is this gun and flower Kydex holster. It's not an expensive holster and you can tell it's, it's seen a lot of use. I need to tighten up my ulti clip here, 
but I've got the uh, ulti clip ulti tuck on there and I've talked about this a lot of times before but this thing really is a, a game changer for anybody that's carrying inside the waistband or just carrying concealed in general if you're a bigger guy especially that'll let you clip it into sweats shorts pretty much anything I'm still carrying the tourniquet and you know the uh, vismix belt system is making that very easy to do so I'm very happy with that right now the socp dagger I'm really digging this and I'm actually, I want to see what you guys think down below. I'm thinking about actually EDCing something like this as a main carry as, and just carrying one blade, um, just a fixed blade EDC. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about that. Should, should I do that or shouldn't I? I want to know what you think. Right now for my EDC knife, I am carrying the Dimco AD 20.5 Tanto. Very, very nice little knife, super sharp right out of the box. This one is on the skiff bearing, so it's got, it just has that mechanical feeling to it. Very hard to explain if you've never played around with the Demcos. The, uh, the normal pivot feels nice. I mean, it's very nice. Great pivot on it. But these, uh, when you have these, uh, they have a bigger pivot barrel here. And uh, you can see it's a little bit different. And these are on the uh, skiff bearings. And they just have a different feel to them very hydraulic um but yeah carrying the uh 80 20.5 tanto love this knife absolutely love it i've got a review coming up on that one and i don't know if you guys saw uh, i think uh, dimco is coming out with the um 80 10 80 10 or 10.5 something like that they're coming out with the new 80 series knife um i'm gonna have to check into that and i'll try to get back to you guys on that one but i just saw it the other day i thought that was really cool um and very interesting tick watch is still going strong guys um i still loving the uh, i mini two around the neck of course that's just a always carry for me and the crystal pin carrying this for uh mr ed calderon you know you know and of course the ladder bro pro you know we got to have that on us guys gotta have the ladder bro so anyway, um, let's go back over to the chair and I'll give you my final thoughts on uh, what I'm carrying everything this week so far. Oh, yeah. And I uh, can't forget about the tackle front pocket. Love it. So cool. So, yeah, guys, that's the pocket dump for this week. Like I said, I haven't changed really a whole lot of what I'm carrying. I've made just small incremental changes here and there. And, and, you know, I think that's what we're all trying to do is just try to make little small incremental changes here and there to our gear that just improves it for our everyday carry. You know, um, like I said, I'm really considering for the next week, EDC seeing something like the uh, SOCP mini dagger, um, EDC and something like this as just a main carry blade. I'd love to know what you guys think about that. So be sure and leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. That's what it's there for. I'd love to hear from you guys. I want to say the one thing that I, I will recommend, and I want you want everybody to think about this, this for this week's EDC, the one thing that you can improve that you can always improve on, and there's always room for improvement. You'll never get uh, the best version of this particular EDC item. <clears throat> and that is your mind and your knowledge. So what I would encourage everybody to do is increase your knowledge. Always be working on learning something uh, every day. You know, maybe try to learn something new every day. Read a book about a subject you're not familiar with, you know. Um, but the reason that I say that is because your knowledge is the key to using all this gear that you carry. So it doesn't matter if you have the latest and greatest gear, the best gun on the planet. You know, if you're not familiar with it, if you're not training with it, it's not as effective as it could be. And basically, you know, the... Uh, call it. The bottleneck there basically is you. So that's the one thing that you can always improve on is improve on using your gear, learning how to use your gear and, and the different applications for each item that you carry. Um, that's the one thing that I would recommend for this week is that we should all be just working on improving the gear between our ears. You know, I always like to say the best gear is the gear you have on you. And maybe I should say the best gear is the gear between your ears because really it is. That's the most important thing. You know, that's the difference between, you know, surviving with a butter knife and failing with a pack full of equipment. It could be just your mindset. So anyway, let's work on that mindset, guys. Remember, always be carrying and the best gear is the gear between your ears. <laughs>
Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great weekend. Average Gear Reviewer, I'm out of here.